Hi everyone, what's up? Thank you so much for being here. If you guys are new to my channel, hi, my name is Jessie. So it is time of the year again where holidays are coming up and makeup companies are releasing different types of collector set. I am so excited and happy to show you guys today's video because it's going to be about the pineapple of my eye from Tarte and this is part of their collection set. Collection set, collector set, I'm sorry, okay? I was just like way too excited to show this to you guys because when Trend moved posted this online I got excited but sad at the same time because I'm not VIB so they made this available first for the VIP people at Sephora if you're like a member it's like their highest tier and then I came home yesterday and I mentioned this to John Ray I came home and there was a bag of Sephora and I was like put my bag in the counter and I was like because I saw this little old thing right over here, but there's like an image of the pineapple, and I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe you purchased this for me. Anywho, I have it here with me. It is $59, so with tax, you're going to be probably paying like $64 and something cents. Christmas or holidays is actually my favorite part of the year because I love collecting makeup, and this piece right over here is something that is... As you guys can see, it's a very aesthetically pleasing, but at the same time, we're kind of like nervous because the quality might suffer from that. It's like you're paying for the packaging, but I'll show you guys how I created this look, of course. But first, um, I'm going to give you guys some swatches, and let's do an unboxing. I already use this, obviously. Like, it's literally on my face right now. But uh, when you open it up, there is like a small section at the top wherein you can get the mascara, the liner, and the lip balm. This is what it looks like. This is what the wrapper looks like. Oops, that almost fell. It's pink. If you guys do not know, pink and white gold is my absolute favorite color. I think those colors, so from time to time white, those colors are like so pretty and elegant and then you have the sex kitten eyeliner this top right over here like the cap is just so cute it reminded me of like Korean makeup but I already have an experience with sex kitten liner it is very easy to take off and I don't really have any problem with this though this is actually a felt tip just to give you guys an idea it's felt tip and you can really make sharpie points sharp sharp points and um, mine lasted, I would say, three to four months. So one of the problems of a felt tip is that most of our eyeshadows get stuck into the tip. So sometimes it stops working, but this one, you will enjoy it because it didn't do that problem to me. Though some eyeshadows may transfer to the felt tip, but it doesn't dry out, which is amazing. I don't even need to shake it, so that to me... I really love this one and I have no complaints about it. And the next item from this kit is this Lights Camera Lashes. So the original one, like the big one, the packaging is more of like a leatherette. Now this looks like a the same original packaging, but it is made out of plastic. And I love the fact that it is a little heavy. The brush on this one is thick. So I'm going to wear it today and let you guys know when I come back as I'm editing the video to let you guys know my overall thoughts. Now, you have this lip balm right over here. It's called Pink. It looks like that. It doesn't have much color payoff in my opinion. It's just like a very subtle, smells like peppermint. So it's something for those people who wants to have like a natural makeup makeup look. But I do wish that this is like a lip paint, but I don't want to be like, you know, who am I? <laughs> who am I? Who doesn't care? Nobody cares about my opinion. But I do wish that this is a lip paint. Now, it's time for the start of the show. So when the first time I took this out from the box, there was like a glue at the back, probably just to keep it in place. So at the back, you will see all of the name of the shades, and this is the actual palette itself. I wish you can make this stand on your desk, but it doesn't stand. So you're probably going to, if you really want to display, to display this item, you have to buy like one of those, like, I don't know what you call it. You know in Hobby Lobby when you go there, there's like that, and then please comment down below. I don't know what it's called, and you put it like that. I forgot what it's called. And then when you open the palette, there is a mirror, and then you get your bronzer, blushes, and highlight. I was actually pretty happy because 
the photo references this actually looked like a blush but I used it as my bronzer today and then these are all your eyeshadows there is a cover right over here I know a lot of people had like a response to this one because they said that they don't like their eyeshadows to be transferred to this one so just so you guys know there is a cover right over here and it's actually there is a cover right over here and you can just tear it out if you do not want that but I will be keeping this just so because I just want to keep it oh my goodness. but these are all your eyeshadows the eyeshadows we've already seen it if you're a makeup collector this is nothing new to you I mean come on we're already at this point that we have all of the eyeshadow shades, but why do we buy more makeup? Because we're crazy. We're makeup slaves like that. So <laughs> I'm going to show you guys some swatches, and I'll be back for my overall thoughts. So here are all your swatches. Started from the top going to the bottom. As you can see, some of them are a little powdery. Some of them do show up really nicely, and some of them are just like, hmm, it was okay. But... From the half of the eyeshadows in the palette, everything is showing up really nicely in my opinion. And these are your two blushes, your bronzer, and your highlight. So as the usual guys, I don't have any base on the back of my hand and every eyeshadow is only swatched one time. So I'm going to give you guys another look so you can judge it for yourself. Now let's go ahead and I'm going to show you guys how this applies to my eyes. I'm going to start off this makeup look by using the ABH Dip Brow in Chocolate. Nothing really special, just my regular brow routine. So just in case you guys are wondering, the eyeshadow palette is not really that heavy. I haven't had a chance to grab one of the Moschino Bear, so I don't know if it's the same weight. So I'm going to start off with this white cream eyeshadow right over here. And this is going to be my wash color. I already have an eyeshadow primer underneath. And also I'm going to show you guys the colors that I will be using. Slowly I am intensifying my eye. And then on the center of my eye I'm going to be applying that silver shade. So I want to put the colors in place first. I'm just going to pack them and then after that, I'm going to be removing the harsh lines. Now I'm going to be adding the darker brown and apply that on the outer and inner corner area of my eyes. Now I'm going to grab the black eyeshadow and intensify the outer corner areas of my eyes. And I'm just going to slowly build it up. And then I'm going to be putting my lid color and then put more black eyeshadow on the outer and inner corner. So for the metallic shade, first I have tried using my finger to see how it applies. And it applies very well. By the way, I'm, I, I'm fully aware that the black eyeshadow on the corner of my eyes is still not very well blended. And also, I have tried using it with a brush and it applies very nicely as well. Now, I'm going to show you guys how the Sex Kitten Liner performs. Now, this is what I'm talking about to you guys. That even though some of the eyeshadow goes into the felt tip, it does not affect the color of the eyeliner. Also, that actually irritates me. That eyeshadow, it needs to be even out, but I was already running late, so uh, yeah, that works. <laughs> and then I'm going to be using the Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. And all throughout the day, I didn't really experience any chipping, any flaking. Princess is literally eating my hand right now. Princess, stop that. Okay. So for my lashes, I will be using Marquise. This is actually not a fresh pair. I just wanted you guys to see what it really looks like in the box, in the packaging. So that's the whole reason why there is like a white strip there. And I'm like, I didn't see it. And I just realized that at work. So I'm sorry for that. And then for my foundation and concealer, I will be using Bare Minerals and Juice Beauty. I am really loving this combo so far. I have been using it multiple times and for the Juice Beauty Foundation, this is actually my second bottle. At first, I actually didn't like the formula for my skin because I am oily, but I rarely use foundation 
right now just so because I feel like it's too much. I do makeup every day and I feel like it's too much for my skin already. So Juice Beauty is like one of those options for like a healthy choice for my skin. So either way, if I use like a good setting powder, it's not gonna, you know, be like a greasy mess. So to seal everything, I'm gonna be using the LA Girl Pro Powder and apply that all over my face. I'm going to be putting a generous amount. I don't bake anymore. It's just, to me, it's just time consuming. And I I honestly feel like it does exactly the same anyway. So I'm going to get that gold eyeshadow and apply that under my eye. That white strip in my lash really bothers me, but uh, it's okay. Yes, I am literally clocking myself. So once I am satisfied, I'm going to apply mascara. And then after that, we're going to proceed with a bronzer. I actually, actually never really thought that this would be a matte bronzer. It actually made me so happy, but I'm using it as my contour today. And we're going to see what the result is. Because at the photos, I really thought that it was like a blush. So when I saw it like that, I was like, I was just really happy. So I'm just going to continue on doing that until I look slimmer. Lately, I have been slacking with my diet. I've been eating recklessly. But I'll be on it soon. You know why? Because my cousin, she's going to be celebrating her birthday. And of course, everybody's going to be there. And of course, I want to look bomb. Because everybody's going to be wearing gowns. And then I'm going to grab these two blushes after my highlight. So first, I'm going to apply the highlight. My comment on the highlight is that if you are that type of person who wants like extra blinding highlight, then... I'm gonna tell you right now, this is subtle, but I'm pretty sure you can definitely build it up. The blushes are very beautiful, and I really love the formula. It's super easy to blend, and now it is time to use the lip balm. Now it is time to use the last product in this kit. I still wish that this is a lip balm, but it is what it is, girl. It's life telling me that I have crusty ass lips. And this is the final makeup look, guys. So overall guys, I think this collection is nice. I won't say that the quality is bad because it's not, but I would do say that they are powdery though. So now that you know that this is lightly pressed, don't go ham on it. If you do not like that formula, then don't buy this. If the color story interests you, then I'm going to give you guys my go signal, my sassy go signal because I really think it's fun and for $59 I think that is very well priced too. So it's going to be your personal preference whether you buy this one or not. So that is pretty much it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And if you are still a part of the Sassy family, go ahead and subscribe so I don't have to color match rude people every day. I'll see you guys next time.